Okay. All right, we're ready for a, a statement from Sheriff Don Esslinger. Thank you. And he'll introduce the other players. Good afternoon. Uh, Chief Smith and I uh, appreciate the opportunity of being here. I wanted to start off by um, some of my uh, observations. February of last year, a tragic situation occurred within the city of Sanford that claimed one life and changed many others. In fact, the lives of two families have forever been altered and our hearts and prayers go out to both. During this trial, the Sheriff's Office has a number of responsibilities, one of which obviously is to ensure the safe environment of the courthouse as well as the participants of this trial. We also want to ensure that the proceedings go or carried out without interruption or disruption. We also uh, were responsible to ensure the sequestration of the jury that is proper. But overall, our mission is to provide a safe and secure environment for the entire community. June 10th, members of our community walked into this courthouse as potential jurors. Just like people throughout the country do in our 3,000 plus counties. Once seated, these individuals will decide cases and controversies in their respective jurisdictions. And they do it under the watchful eye of a presiding judge. Now, for 15 days, this jury has heard from witnesses. They have viewed evidence. They have learned the facts. They've been instructed of the laws that apply. And now they are deliberating. And soon, hopefully, they will issue a verdict as Americans, we entrust our fellow citizens with this solemn duty. In exchange, we, the public, respect and accept their decision. Now, at times, as individuals, we may not agree with this verdict. But as communities within our country, we respect the rule of law. Before I turn the podium over to Chief Smith, I would like to speak to what I see in our community. We recognize while this case has brought a great deal of emotion, there's no tension in Seminole County. Let me repeat that. I cannot speak for any other jurisdiction, but I have to tell you, we recognize that this case has stirred up a great deal of emotion, but we're not seeing tension here in Seminole County. There is no party involved in this case who wants to see any violence. And we have every expectation upon the announcement of this verdict that our community and its visitors will continue to act peacefully. Please be assured that our office has been working with other law enforcement agencies, particularly Sanford Police Department, to ensure the safety of our citizens and visitors here. We encourage businesses to not disrupt operations, we encourage all uh, residents that to live their lives normally. We will not tolerate anyone who uses this verdict as an excuse to violate the law. I am proud of the efforts of the men and women of our organization, and we're going to continue to work hard to provide the best possible service to the people of Seminole County. And now I would like to introduce Chief Smith. First, I want to thank you all for being here today and taking the time to be here. 17 months ago, a tragedy took place here in the city of Sanford, one which has changed the mindset, the perception, what we see in our country today. It also took the opportunity to bring some things to light that may have taken place many, many, many years ago. 
15 months ago, 3,000, 30,000 some odd people showed up here. And during that same time, they requested that several things take place. They wanted an investigation. They asked for an arrest. They asked for charges to be made. They asked for a trial. Each of those things have taken place. Additionally, they asked for an ins investigation into the police department, and they asked for a review of the things that have taken place in the police department through the Department of Justice. Each of those things have taken place. But also during that time, a blue ribbon panel was developed to look at issues and concerns, not only in the police department, but throughout the city. Community meetings have been held to talk about issues and concerns that affect the people in Sanford and how we as a community can work together to resolve those. There's been training done with law enforcement through the Department of Justice within the police department to talk about issues uh, based on bias-based policing and ethics. We've gone out into the community and talked, spoke to people about what their issues by knocking on their doors, introducing ourselves to say, let's see how we can improve the relationship between the police department and the community. We've also developed what's called Sanford's Pastors Connecting, where we've connected with the pastors throughout the entire city. And those pastors, regardless of their religion, their beliefs, set those aside so that they get a good feel for the things that are happening, communicating with each other, talking about the things that are going on within the community. Because in this case, they are the ones who have the opportunity to unite, to have that, view, that vision, to see the direction that the police department, working through the pastors, how our community can move forward. And as we await this verdict, we would like to remind everyone that the city of Sanford has been a peaceful location since that time 17 months ago. And it remains a peaceful location. An example of that is when you come into this, this, the building here today, from the number of people who are in the, in the area for free speech, we've learned some lessons through this past 15 months, many of which we're going to move forward with and seeing how we can band together to make Sanford a much better place. But part of that is communications and being able to talk to each other about the issues and how we can improve upon the things that need to be done in our community. But more needs to be done. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that everything is peachy keen in the city of Sanford. I'm not going to do that. But what I will tell you is this. Our community is working together to be a better community, to be an example for the other people throughout, throughout Florida, throughout the nation, to be the, the example to talk about issues, to put things on the table, to see the direction that's, that we can do uh, better. We can do more. And as a community, it becomes our responsibility to work together to talk about what the issues and things that, that are out there it's our community. And when this trial passes, it will still be our community. When every, everyone is gone and the, the, the cameras are gone and the light is no longer shining on Sanford, it will still remain our community. An example of how community can come together in a crisis to work together to resolve issues, to be peaceful to put their things on the table to talk about what is out there and how we can move together. As the sheriff has indicated, we have worked together diligently for the past months to put together a plan to ensure the safety of Sanford and our surrounding uh, communities. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a trying time for all of us. We're not sure what the verdict is going to, going to bring out. But at the same time, it's a great opportunity for evolution within the Sanford community and showing how we as a community can involve or evolve to do better and be better, to ensure that we have an opportunity to speak our peace peacefully, to come together peacefully 
And when you leave here, you leave here peacefully. There's nothing on the horizon for us other than to move forward. The family has also asked the judicial system to run its course, and that's exactly what we're asking other people to do, <coughs> allow the judicial system to run its course. And we will move forward from here. Thank you, and have a great <coughs> afternoon. Thank you very much.